Hey, what's up, Libra? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. Let's see the energy between you and the person on your mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. These are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information. Well, that didn't work. Let's try it again. What's going on between Libra and the person on their mind? One more. You're watching someone or someone might be watching you. We'll see. King of Swords wanted to pop out. That's probably somebody who's like... A little detached. We'll see. What you don't see coming, King of Pentacles, that could be a person. That could be a person coming towards you. That can also be you, you know, uh, doing really well on your money, stuff like that. The overall energy for the reading is the Ace of Cups. So this is a love situation, obviously. <clears throat> Seeing that I do focus on love readings. From what I see here, it's like this is your energy. So you're in the Six of Swords. You're like you're in a place where you just don't want any more drama. You don't want any more anything. You're ready to just go. You might be at your wit's end with something. We'll see what it is. The energy attached to you is the empress. Well, I mean, that could be a mom. Could be your mom. So there is love there, but it, it could be your mom. But that's probably not for most of you. This is someone that either thinks really highly of themselves or you see them in that way. You can also have kids with this person. Because that's almost like the energy in between. <clears throat> it kind of feels like you and someone you might have kids with. And that's what keeps you guys together. However, what's blocking is a chariot. So there might be distance. Your intention is the Ten of Cups. You want happiness. Their intention is the Ten of Pentacles. They want uh, financial fulfillment. Not saying that they don't want happiness with that. Or that you don't want financial fulfillment, right? You guys both have tens. Um, you guys both want what you want. Your action is the tower, something probably surprising. We'll see what it is. I feel like this is a tower that you're doing on purpose. I don't feel like this is something happening to you. Um, their action is holding back. So let's see. Clarify the six of swords for me. You might be starting a new job. That's for some of you. For others of you, you're, you're trying to focus on work. Um, I feel like you're probably at a point where you feel like you've worked on this so much, you know, that you kind of just, ugh, it's so much work is what I get from that. It's so much work. I, I want to move away from this because I put so much work into this already. Let's see the energy of the Empress. <clears throat> okay. That's funny. So they have a tendency to come in. <clears throat> this could be somebody that you're, you've been in a long-term relationship with. They have very in and out energy with the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So that's, that's like impulsive, but also 
I want to see what you do. It feels like I'm going to, it, it gives me the energy of I'm going to come in and shake things up and I want to see what you do. Doesn't have to be exactly like that, but they might have a way of communicating with you that is very, um, I don't know, sharp. I feel like they might also play victim with you. Not to say that you didn't do anything to them, but from what it looks like, they might have been the one causing drama. And it kind of looks like they play victim to you. <clears throat> you're at a point where you, you're feeling better about yourself. Um, and you're trying to make a decision of what happiness looks like to you going forward, pretty much trying to decide what situations you want around and which ones you don't. Ten of Pentacles for their energy. Okay, so they're trying to figure the same thing out because you have the Two of Pentacles, they have judgment. That just tells me that they might be trying to figure out if they want to restart something with you. So this is something you left behind in the past. I see you're the one that exited. <coughs> <coughs> Flip it and switch it if that's what it is for your situation. But from my, my viewpoint, this is Libra who left. Um, and it looks like this person's trying to figure out if they want to come back towards you or not. They're watching you definitely, and I don't see them communicating. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, so this person, this person holds back. But I feel like they might be keeping secrets from you. <clears throat> For some of you, this is a third party situation with the Three of Pentacles coming out. I feel like they might be. Yeah, this, it's, it's an energy of holding back with strength and the high priestess. There's things about this person you don't know. Just put it that way. They might. Say they want to work things out with you. If they do, I wouldn't trust it. If this story makes sense to you at all, I wouldn't trust them. But I feel like you might know this, which is why you walked away in the past. You see the tower. See, this is you having options. You have options. And I see that you're, the tower is something you're causing because you have options and because you're standing in your power as the emperor. Like I said, this could be somebody you have kids with because they show up as the empress. You're showing up as the emperor. It could be vice versa. You could be the empress. They could be the emperor. Go ahead, flip it. It doesn't matter. Um, what does matter is that you are in a place where you're feeling better about yourself. You have options. You have a vision. It feels like. Because what I'm seeing here too is that your vision went from the page of wands to the two of wands. So it, there's growth there. You see something further for you. Let's see the hermit. That just tells me the outcome for this is a lot of healing, a lot of wisdom coming from the situation. I feel like all the readings this week are of people breaking up with other people. I don't know. I cannot express what I just said. Healing. The hermit clarified by the three of swords and the temperance, temperance not temperance temperance which is more healing and then new love comes in after the healing there's a lot of healing here that needs to be done and when i say a lot of healing i i let me kind of 
go ahead and touch on that subject. It's not just you're not a victim of what just happened to you. If you were in this situation, you could have been with a narcissist. You could have been with something like that. But at the end of the day, the only thing you can do is look at your actions. And maybe if you kept on jumping into something, ask yourself, why did I keep doing that? I don't like that. I want to change that about me. I don't want to keep chasing the unattainable. That's part of healing is realizing your own actions that you play in things. People are going to tell you what you want to hear and it's up to you to believe it. You know, I don't know why I just went on that tangent, but there's a lot of healing for you here, Libra. Uh, new love is coming in after this clears out. And let's see any advice from your ancestors and spirit guides. Go with the flow. I'm taking the top one. And we'll get one of these cards too. And the integrity or integrity is a new black, not the integrity. Let me read this for you. Go with the flow. Relax, let go, and go with the flow. You don't need to control a situation. Know everything that is going to happen or plan everything in advance. Time out is just as important as time doing. So don't feel guilty about gifting yourself some relaxation. When you go with the flow, you can manifest more quickly and easily. Then integrity is new black. <clears throat> integrity means having your actions match your values. Most of the time, integrity takes a lot of not doing stuff, not smacking people, not yelling at people, not talking shit, not stealing stuff, not lying, not littering, and not editing your roommate's last gluten-free, soy-free, not eating <laughs> your roommate's last gluten-free, soy-free vegan pizza roll. When the temptation is strong to do the bad thing, sometimes it helps to write it down, to write down the good thing. And put it in your back pocket. It's hard to justify smacking someone when you have your ass pressed up against the word compassion. So that is your advice, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. And if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. I hope to see you next time. Bye.